Today, students, we are going to read and understand the lesson 3 from English Bal Bharati textbook for Standard 5. Be a good listener. Throughout the day, we are listening and hearing to various people like our parents, teachers, friends and family members. We also listen to audio and video programs. Let's find out from this lesson the importance and qualities of a good listener. So come along then children. Let's read and understand it. Hey, this video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Be a good listener. It is important to be a good listener. It means that whenever you are listening to something, be very very attentive. Put your full attention into what you are listening. Now, when can you be a good listener? When you are learning a language. Now, many of you may be learning Marathi as a new language or maybe Hindi or maybe some other language. So, whenever you are learning a new language, you have to listen attentively. You have to listen to the pronunciations. You have to listen to the new words that you may be learning. Only then will you be able to learn a new language. Or when you are dealing with other people. Now, dealing with other people means when you are listening to someone speak or maybe you are talking to someone or maybe you are attending a class or a lecture. So, you have to be very, very attentive and become a good listener and listen properly with your full focus. So, are you a good listener? Now, how will you find that out? You can find it out with the help of the following questions. Now, the first question is, when you are listening to someone, that is, whenever you are listening to anyone, that is, any person, do you look at the person, that is, do you look at the person, look at the face of the person, or do you turn your head away? That is, you look somewhere else. You don't look at the person speaking. Or, toy with something else. Now, toy with something else is, maybe you are writing something, or maybe you are doing something else, or your attention is somewhere else. So, that is, toying with something other than looking at the speaker. So, do you do that? Now, what is the answer to this? The answer to this is, Good listeners look at the speaker. So, a person who is very, very attentive in listening or is a good listener will always look at the person who is speaking. And this will help the person to understand what the speaker is speaking. He will be able to grasp the expressions. He will be able to grasp the complete meaning by looking at the person, by looking at the actions the person is making or maybe the expressions that the person is showing with the tone of the person's voice. So, to, in order to be a good listener, the first and the most important thing is to look at the speaker. Only then you will understand what is being spoken and you may remember what had been spoken for a very long time. Now, the next question is, do you pay attention to what the speaker is saying? Now, this means that, are you putting your full mind and focus on what is being spoken? Or are you getting distracted? Are you doing some other work? Or are you toying with your, the words were used, toying with something else. So, that means, are you getting distracted with something else, doing some other work? And are you paying close attention. So, what, what could be the reason? So, what is the answer to this? Now, good listeners pay close attention to the speaker. It means that they leave all the other things that they are doing aside and pay attention to what the speaker is speaking and understand and try to ask questions or and pay close attention means each and every word they are trying to 
listen to and understand what the speaker is speaking only then you will be able to grasp what is being spoken the third question is do you make any special efforts to understand the speaker so maybe when you are listening to someone speak you do not understand that language very well so you are you making a special effort to understand that person or maybe you are not able to understand the person's accent or maybe you are finding some words difficult to understand or maybe you have a lot of questions to ask that person so you are not able to grasp the complete meaning so do you make any special effort to understand the speaker so to get the answers to this here are some of the things that will help you understand the speaker better so let's look at these points one by one now the first one is if you hear some new or unfamiliar words unfamiliar words means words that you are listening for the first time so these are unfamiliar words you do not know the meaning of it so at such times you try to guess their meaning from the context the context means what the topic is about what is the speaker talking about so you guess the meaning try to understand what the speaker is trying to say through those words so you guess the meaning of the words try to understand what could be the meaning of this word through the context that is understand the topic and understand what the speaker is speaking the next point is that in order to be a good listener you can try to guess what the speaker will say next that is if you pay close attention to what the speaker is speaking or what is the whole topic about of the of the topic of what is being spoken so you will try to guess what the speaker will say next so that way you are paying close attention to what the speaker is speaking the next point is try to keep listening even when you feel that you do not understand the speaker maybe the language is new to you maybe you cannot understand the accent of the speaker so even if this happens you have to continue listening and maybe some of the the words are unfamiliar to you so keep listening try to guess the meaning try to guess what the speaker wants to say next and so you will be able to grasp the meaning able to understand the speaker if you keep listening so maybe as you keep listening the speaker may become very clear to you or maybe you will understand the speaker better and maybe the speaker may tell you certain things which will open up the topic or open up the meaning of the topic to you or even when you are when you disagree with the speaker that is you may not agree to what the speaker is saying at that particular time and so you continue listening to it without even stopping to pay attention so you have to continue to pay attention maybe you disagree with certain things maybe you do not like what he is saying or you say no no this is not right but after the speaker has continued speaking maybe the speaker has made certain things clear and then you may agree to what the speaker is saying so you have to continue to listen to the speaker even if you do not understand something or even if you disagree with what the speaker spoke wait for the speaker to finish what he is saying so we have to wait for the speaker to finish maybe initially we may not understand or we may disagree but later on as the speaker speaks and he makes himself clear so that time we may understand we may agree with what he has spoken then you can get your doubts clarified by asking polite questions so at the end of the session or when the speaker has finished speaking you can get your doubts maybe you you were doubtful about certain certain things you disagreed with certain things you did not understand certain things so you can ask your doubts that is clarify your doubts and uh, ask them 
polite questions so you don't have to be very harsh you don't have to be, oh, ask questions very in a rude manner you have to ask them put forward your questions in a polite in a nice manner so maybe it will be much clearer to you what the speaker wants to say and you will understand what that speaker wants to say very very clearly do not feel shy or afraid to ask questions if you do not understand what is being said now often it happens that the topic may be something new we may have heard unfamiliar words we may not understand certain certain words so at that time you should put forward your questions you should not feel shy or you should not feel afraid that what will people say am i asking a stupid question or is it very impractical of me to ask this question right now or will they people make fun of me will they all laugh at me you should not feel shy because often there are people for whom the topic is very very new so this topic could be new to you so there may be many many doubts in your mind so it is better to clarify these doubts rather than to have these doubts in you so you can put these questions in a to the speaker in a very polite manner you don't have to feel shy you don't have to be rude so you have you can put it forward and ask the speaker in a polite manner to you know so uh, speak it again or explain to you again you can ask many more questions maybe the topic is very new to you and you have many more questions so the, often the speaker feels very happy that someone has come forward and spoken their doubts and even there are people in the crowd people with you who will feel very happy that you were bold enough to ask this question maybe they wanted to ask this question or maybe it could be a very important question where the speaker would be very very happy to clarify your doubts to clear your doubts so we should always you know be bold enough or we should not feel shy we should not be afraid to ask any questions and clear it clear all our doubts at that very particular time rather than keeping it in our mind and getting misunderstood so it is always better to ask the speaker in a polite manner all your doubts sometimes it helps to note down important words or points even as you listen now note down means write down you must have often seen whenever you are attending a seminar or important meeting or you are attending a lecture you find people carrying a small notebook or carrying a small writing pad and writing down whatever are the important points or important words or important or uh, you know dates or events or something important that was spoken so they write it down so that they don't forget about these points they are important points so they would like to remember it often when you when you have your school meetings pta meetings or any other meetings and your parents are called in school and maybe your mummy is attending the meeting and daddy cannot attend the meeting or the other way round your daddy is attending the meeting and you mom can attend the meeting so you find that your parent whoever is attending the meeting is writing down the important points and so that you when the meeting is over and they go home you can share it with the other parent so the other parent also knows what was spoken in the school and the other thing is when it is written down you remember all the important things that were said the important dates maybe the exam dates were declared or maybe you have to submit some project so that was declared so all these things when you write down it remains as a record with you wherein you can refer to it you can you know go back to it you can read it again understand it again so this helps in always writing down noting down important points or words that were spoken by the speaker in that meeting or the lecture so it is always good to write down so you must always carry a small notebook or maybe a diary or a writing pad whenever you are attending any meeting or lecture or seminar lastly it also helps to keep thinking about what you heard that is maybe when you were listening 
to what was spoken you did not understand certain things or maybe the language was difficult the words were difficult so you after the lecture is over or after the class is over or maybe after the meeting is over after you have finished listening you reflect on it you keep thinking of what was said and keep thinking of what the speaker wanted to say or what was the topic about so you try to reflect try to think and maybe you may grasp the meaning that is you may understand the meaning of a difficult word you did not understand that word at that time so when you reflect on it when you keep thinking on it when you think what the speaker wanted to say by this speaking this word so you may understand it or maybe you did not understand a phrase or a particular part of the topic you did not understand so as you reflect on it as you think about it it may become clearer now often sometimes what happens is when the teacher is teaching in class you do it, the topic may be new to you you may not understand certain words you may not understand what the teacher wanted to say in this it may not be very clear to you the topic may not be very clear to you so you go home you open your textbook you read that again you try to reflect you try try to think about it you try to grasp the meaning of it and so maybe when you read it once or maybe twice sometimes the meaning uh, the me the meaning may be very very clear and you will be able to grasp and understand the topic better when you think about it again now here is a conversation between two people the person is instructing the little girl something so let's look at what he's saying Please bring me the vase that has pink roses. It's on the dining table. Now if you look at the girl, she is looking at the person speaking. She is paying careful attention to what he is trying to say. She is not getting distracted. So she is trying to understand what he is he, what he wants or what he wants to say. and let's now find out whether she follows the instructions so what do you think children did she understand it correctly yes her expressions are telling us that she understood the speaker very well that means she was a very attentive listener so she listened to the instructions carefully and she is picking up the correct pot that the speaker wanted so he wanted a vase that has pink roses and which was kept on the dining table so he she has picked up the correct one if she had not listened carefully maybe she would have misunderstood the speaker and maybe she may think that he wanted some roses and so she may have picked she may pick up some roses from a bed of roses or she may think that the person wants a dress a frock with red or uh, with pink roses so she may pick up that so here we know that she listened very attentively she paid careful attention she was looking at the speaker so that is how we should be we should be a very attentive listener only then we will understand what is being spoken about we learned some of the characteristics of a good listener that is some of the qualities of a good listener i hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this lesson here is a textual exercise for you to solve to check your answers to the textual questions visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com The link is given in the description box below.